Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. They trust me. I will do everything within my power to make sure you get back in happiness. If only you can talk to me. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever been in love? Okay, Baba. This will serve as a reminder. Anytime you stay at home, it will remind you of the important people in your life that you have loved and loved. I miss you, Angie. Mama, I will miss you too. <laughs> Aisha, mm. I will miss you too. <laughs> but don't forget to call me when you get to the car. Okay? Why would I forget? Of course I'll call you. Mm. We would always talk. Okay? 
and probably will go with it to ensure your safety at all times. Um, Baba, I would like to keep it low in camp. And this will be possible if I have all this unnecessary attention, like Bobby going with me. No, Allah forbid. You are the daughter of Alaji Kabiru and the uh, yet to be wife of uh, uh, Haji Badabasi Tanko. You cannot be roaming around with our security. I, I refuse. But Baba, nobody would know it's me. They wouldn't even know I'm the one. You will never go alone to that. I disagree. You, I need someone to watch over my daughter and be my eyes in case of eventualities. You know something, don't worry, okay? But they will be on a low, okay? No one will even notice him. He is well trained. You won't even see him. Okay, Baba. That's a good guy. Come. <laughs> Allah bless you too, Baba. Mama. <laughs> I have to be on my way now. I like you. You have to see me off to the car. Hey, Baba, I'll give you the phone. You're missing her. What are you missing her? Guy is the coward, what lies in the vehicle. Kokuma, I'm expecting you to tell me the truth. Can you go? At your age. How can a grown-up man like you go and steal for food? What could have prompted you to go and steal? Eh? Sir. I'm talking to you. How could you have involved yourself, Kuma, in an embarrassing situation like this? Sir, I, 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 I planned to pay. Uh, I, I never went there with the intentions to, to, to steal for food, sir. Tache, you plan to pay, Ko? Kuma, you took the fufu and then you bought it away. And then you stand in my office to tell me that you, you plan to pay? Why did you run? Dayus Kakawai, why did you run? She started shouting, thief, thief. Uh, I was scared and everybody there was staring at me. Before I knew it, they started chasing me. I had to run for my life. Carry on, Walaihi! Carry on! Dumbo Roba! Why wouldn't they run for you? Or why wouldn't they run after you? How am I even sure that this story you're telling me is the truth? Eh? You think you're talking to small Pekin there? I'm asking you! Shake a coin! I'm sorry, sir. Forgive me, sir. Do you know you would have been killed in that process? And Kuma, if you had been killed, your people would have gone about to tell people that you're going to do your NY service in the north and then you have been killed through jungle justice. And they would have blamed the government, Kuma, and the soldiers right here that they are not doing their job. They will not ask what killed you. No one to know why you stole two rats of food. Kuma, the government, Kuma, would have turned around and said the soldiers are not doing their job properly. And they did not intervene in the matter when it was supposed to. I will lose my job and my entire family will go hungry. That is Kakawai! Shage! I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I, I, I beg the offense, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. And I want you to listen to me carefully. Kaji, if that this offense you have committed, Kajiko, will not to be a small offense. This would have been the end of your NYC journey right here. And Kuma, let me tell you, there is no criminal offense in none. Kokuma, there is no big offense. You will not go school free without going for your punishment. For the chaos and the panic you have caused in this place. You are going to embark on one week community service. You are going to sweep the ground. 
you are going to empty the trash can. Kuma, you are going to wash the toilet. Sir. Can I how can you? Toilet. I'm talking, you're talking back at me. Do you want me to suspend you now? No, eh? no, sir. Please forgive me. Don't suspend me, sir. I have told you. If you like, you do it. If you don't do it, well, lie, it's a lie. You report Kajiko, I will take you to the highest authority. Go to Ubanka. I'll do it, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have told you. If you like, you feel it. Now get out of my presence. Sure, sure. Share your damn over. That is the coward. What kind of rubbish is this one I hear? Eh? Kuma people will be saying we are not doing our job properly. Mwana damburu wa shege kawai. Zain chumbo yiko wa lahi ita lahi. My princesses, my beautiful princesses, how will you come now? Come. I'm not really <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I've missed you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I've missed you soon. Wow. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Stop. And it looks like you became more beautiful during my absence. Yes, I am. Mm. What's the secret? Of course, you're the secret. You're the reason I glow every day. So sweet. Mm. So Megidana, how did your meeting with Stanko go? Uh, well, it went fine. Very fine. Uh, he has promised to assist us this time around. And uh, he said he would give us the sum of 150 million to add to my business. 150 million naira? Yes. And, uh, you know, the benefits far. And I can pay back any time I want. And guess what? What? I can pay back without interest. Oh. Tanku is a good man. Yes, he is. Tanku is a very good friend. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this help is going to keep us, will make us better. It will make our lives better. It will turn our lives around. It will make us wealthier. I told him that uh, we owe him our lives. Your wife yet. 
So I would prefer you don't address me as that until we are married. Yes, I have. I'm in the car. And I'll miss you too. All right, thanks. Adja. Yeah. It's like you're missing your family already. Of course I am. This is the first time I will be staying very far away from them. I understand. You know I miss my mother so much. And I'm sure she misses me as well. It has been several months now we have not seen each other. You should go and see her. I will do that. I'm just trying to gather enough money if I will go. I pray Allah blesses you so that you can make money. Thank you, Ajay. You're welcome. People are very sure about it. People can do so many things for us. You never can tell. It's very easy. Look at this from their life. But I don't mean, know. It's just, it's just like. I think so too. Hey. <laughs> so they have two here. Ah, uh, you're, you're funny. First year, we are mixed with different kinds of people. We are mixed with mad people, good people, black people, rough people, thieves. So, you don't expect this. Yes. So, which one do you find? I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm a good guy. So, that is my room. Even if it's the one that Yes, so I guess this. Uh, Oh, okay. Um, so, how many are you? Um, just me for now, but they said they will allocate someone else. I don't know. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm cheating. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. All right, then. Guys, why is my bag here? See, we don't care. We don't care where you sleep or where you go to. You can't stay with someone who is a thief in the same room. You go out stealing for food, and you still come back into the same room and sleep with us. Your news is everywhere. In fact, your news is smelling everywhere in this camp that you're a thief. And the moment people start seeing us around with you, they will think we are the same thief like, like you. Guys, talk to Ram now. You are my brother. You are not even saying anything. After here, we'll still meet in the East. Guys, yeah, talk to Ram now. No, sir. I mean, here is right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, here is right. I mean, you should look for another place to stay. Your presence here can cause more harm to our reputation. Huh? People will start seeing us as if we are the same. Huh? My problem is I don't want to search him with any thief. You are a thief. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm I'm not. 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 Come on guys, it's just three weeks and we all will be out of this place. 
please forgive and forget Biko. No, sir. Best of the same for that fools together. Let me meet your time. I want to meet your time. You are my brother, but I, I can't kill myself for you. You are a thief. Every guy. Please. 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 And I'll call the fine like American Visa, just chill. Hmm? Relax, calm down. Just today. Gist. Mm -hmm. Okay, come up with it. I'm hearing you. Well, I just hook up with this guy. He is so fine and cute. In fact, this guy is overloaded with cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> Escalibi! You never enter camp. You don't define now. Gina. Yes. No, no. Mm. This thing just happened. It's as if I planned it. Oh. Ha. Babes. God, we need a great fine man. Mm. You need to see this guy. He's super cute. God, even when, when he was talking. To me. My heart can't all melt. What a joke! Sick of our income camp. Babe, you never even said to down finish. You don't the fine man. <laughs> Why not just you girls? Ask me who this guy is. Okay. Before you bury me alive. Okay, madam. Who is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> like the question I'm Okay, let me introduce him. His name is Chicken. He's a cop member like us. I ran into him when they called the team. So we got talking. The way your body does is shaky like this. <laughs> Don't tell me you're falling in love. Ah, babe. Love is an understatement. In fact, I think I myself give up. Ha! Ah, you need to see Chicken. I think I'm falling in love. Yes. Wait. Madame. I think I love him. Chi, you need to see this guy. His personality. The way he talks. Guy, I'm in love. Madame, wait. I, mean, I won't make you chop that change. If you chop, I'm finished. Just... I, mean, I don't even want this. I didn't talk to you. You need to eat. Wait. You need to eat the change. Maybe you are hungry. And right now, you are thinking late. Late. You are thinking they go like this. On so the <laughs> so you think right? And so we understand you. So now, babe, I don't Thank you, Sir, I returned to my room and they drove me out for no reason at all. So, Okuma, what do you want me to do for you? Mene Kana Sokuma, tell me. I, 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 I came to find out if there's a way you can relocate me. I, out, out of that one. Please, sir. I, I, I don't speak with them anymore. Those guys are rude, sir. Got back in, come on back in, sir. Those boys are rude. Go catch it. Go come on, you're being stupid with your heart. Who's not going to break up? Borrow over. Sir, please, sir. If this is the last favor you do for me, I would greatly appreciate it. I don't want to stay with those guys anymore. Please, sir. Well, I hit a lie here. I don't know why I don't be. I'm being nice to you. Well, I've been saying it. Kaji! Bump 116. Go and locate the place. Kokuma, you stay there. Yes, sir. That is the only favor that I can render for you. And if you're being rejected, or lie you on your own. Oh yo! Oh yo! Share your boroba! Guy is a coin! Get out of my office! Thank you, sir. Chan sir. Don't boroba! How can you come to my office with irrelevant issues? Can I how can I? Share the guy is a coin! 
you have come to include me on, on what I'm doing right now. Irrelevant issues. Am I your father, eh? Go police your father, Wallahi. Who is that? Who is that? What? Are, are, are you looking for someone? I was asked to move in here. By who? How? I, I, are you not the boy they just finished beating? The thief? My name is Nonso, please. Yes, you forgot to add the thief. I'm sure it was you outside just Can now. Can I see it? I'm tired. I need to rest. Wait, wait first. Who told you to come in here? Who? He told me how much he loved a busy to find for food. So I'm taking this to him. I don't just understand. You met a guy today. The next minute, you're off with a food to him. I don't just understand you. And what is wrong with being nice to a fellow cop? Hey, <clears throat> did he tell you that he's hungry? Or is he an hungry fellow? Sandra. Oh. He mustn't tell me that he is hungry before I could share my food. I mean, after the whole day, Mother Teresa of Kakuta. Kakuta, Mama. I like her. I they come. Overcome ministry. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This girl put us in trouble. Can you imagine? She can't love be this one. Like, well, you think she'll be crying? Eh? I'll bring a lot of buckets. You trust me now? I'll bring bucket and bowl. So she will cry more. What's that name? Uh, that music? What is it called? Break up the national I Hunger made me do what I did. I'm not really what you think. I don't know you before, so I I don't know what to think. My only concern is why would they send you to my room of all places? I was sent out of my bunk by my colleagues. They didn't want to stay with me. Why? No one wants to associate with me. Of course, who wants to associate with someone that steals for food? Don't judge me, please. from Adams. I was equally surprised when, when he walked in here. He was sent out from his space. And you took him in? He was allocated here. I'm not supposed to send him out. <laughs> you really need to be very careful. And make sure you have your eyes on him at all times. He might equally steal from you. Um, anyway, um, uh, I cooked a delicious meal today, so I thought I should share. Share? Mm hmm Oh, have you had something to eat? Oh, no, I haven't. I'm just concerned if it's going to be enough for you. <laughs> no. Should I? No, this is fine. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you. It's 
looks quite nice. Okay. Um, I should be on my way. I'll come back tomorrow to pick up the food flat. Okay, sure. Thank you. Aisha. Yes. I think we should rent hotel instead of staying here. This place looks local. No, it's okay. I'm not here for honeymoon. I'm here for NYSC and this is one of the experiences. But Aisha, Alahaji will not be happy with this. What is Alahaji? He is my father. My name is Aisha. But Aisha. I'm going to stay here. If you want to rent a hotel, that's fine. But I'll be here. But Aisha. Can you just stop speaking? It's okay if you insist. Okay, I think that's the office. In the next one minute, thirty seconds, you fall in. You go move. As you get falling, make everybody there on guard. Let's move. Matano passing. Surprises we play. Anything we saw, based on say what say what. So that if anything stop, as you they go, if they knock back, make we feel knock them. Make you make sure say. We achieve our target. Cheer on the year. Let's go. Tamina, now wow. How many do you want us to see? More, as much as possible. You know, get. But like this, eh, you don't need to lose guard the main target. We must make sure we package the main target before we capture as much as possible. That's what we don't do. Tiger, Tiger, you don't trust us. You don't believe me? You don't worry yourself. We got everything covered. You don't worry yourself at all. Me believe say everybody they game. Oh, so no matter how it be, you go on and pack the bar. Pack the bar, man. That's it. On your whiskey, we to pour your food. Who the? Who the? Who the? That's it. The bonding way. Boss, I promise you, nobody go to this guy. Don't be lying. Maybe we are good. I'm off. <laughs> you don't say I'm mean. No time, no time. Make ah! everybody on guard. Make
Yeah. How I many doors open? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Are you the second person they said I'll be staying with? I guess so. Aww. You're welcome. Thank you. How was Johnny? It sure lie, was fine. Oh, my name is Rookie. Okay, I am Aisha. Oh. Aisha Tabiru. Nice to meet you. Same here. Meanwhile, the door doesn't lock up. Yeah, they're 40. Are you serious? Yes. But well, if you don't feel safe, you can come with me. Um, not to worry, I will um, I'll manage. I'll get the door fixed tomorrow. Without will. Most of the doors here are faulty. And no one does anything about it. If you complain, they will tell you other core members use it without complaining. So It's okay. I, I I'll find a way around it. Okay, if you insist. You know, I came for my charger. Um, I guess that's it. Ah, no. Ah. See you later. <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Is she your girlfriend? That brought the food, of course. No, a friend. Can you stop asking me questions, at least for now? Well, while your drama happened this morning, that was when we met. Today, you should be thanking me then for being your your date doctor. Um, I, I I think all of this happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know, funny. So, um, <clears throat> if you're not a thief, as you claim. Why did you steal? You would have just asked. Huh? You have no idea. You see, when you ask people for things, they tend to see you as a beggar. Probably perceive you as a handicap. You know, I've faced a lot in life. You have no idea what I've been through. Today is actually the the first time, you know, it's actually my my first time. I've never done this before. I pray people will forget what happened in a hurry. If not, you will not enjoy your stay here. I don't care. If they find themselves in my shoe, I, I know they will probably do worse things that I've done. You want to steal another fufu? No, why would I steal fufu? I'm not a thief, I told you before. Are you hungry? You ask a man who has been beaten this morning if he's hungry. Of course, you know the answer to that already. I wonder why you're speaking too much English. It's a very simple question. Yes or no? Yes, I'm hungry. That's what you will say now. I'm more highly guys will react. Say you ask a man who has no. Go and wash your hand and join me. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, Today at camp is fine. I'm in my room now. A lot of people have been coming in, but I'm all alone in the room for now. I miss you too, Sediat. 
Minini, I hope there's no problem. Hello? Hello, Sede? Oh, how can my battery go off at this time? Just. How am I supposed to know? I think we are under an attack. By who? What a stupid question is that? We can't go outside. We can't go outside. We might... We might... We might... Even if we stay there, he doesn't know we are safe. Over. The camp has just been attacked by bandits. Can you hear me over? We need back up here. We need back up here. The camp has just been attacked by bandits. The camp has just been attacked by bandits. Over.
what? What are they saying here? What nonsense? Bobby, where are you? Alaj, I'm just leaving the hotel now. Shake it down, Banza. My daughter is in danger in the camp, and we're just leaving the hotel. What am I paying you for? I instructed you to take care of my daughter, and you checked into a hotel to be sleeping like a dead rat. Alaj, your daughter is fine. She's fine, sir. Wag at that, Banza. Look. My daughter's camp was attacked last night by bandits. And you're telling me that she's fine? Ah. Look, you better go to the camp now. Make sure that you find her well and alive. Because if I find any scratch on her body, one light and I, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Nonsense. I heard you shouting. Aisha's camp was attacked last night by bandits. Why you Allah? 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 Wow, it was really a rough night for us. Are you telling me? It was scary. I have never in my life had that kind of experience. Never. Wow. Ha. Yeah. I was scared to my bones, I swear. Same here. <laughs> but you know the funny thing? If you hadn't come into my room that day, I wonder what I would have done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank very much for what? Me that is also dodging for my own life. <laughs> <laughs> Say thank you. Do you know I led them to your room? When I heard the gunshots, mm -hmm. I came out to know what was going on. Yeah. And then I bumped into this man. He was wearing a face mask. It was what? obvious he is a terrorist. That's after four years in the university, nothing happened to us. In now camp. in camp. <laughs> same hey, thing. I'm telling you, why was the same thing I thought? That night was crazy. Crazy and scary. Really, really crazy. Like I still feel, I don't even know how to explain it. I still have that fear in me, especially when the lights went on. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> so what's your name? My name is Aisha. Aisha mm -hmm. Kabiru. It's obvious. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you don't have to be Hausa to wear this. I'm Muslim, that's why I'm wearing it. Oh. Yes. Okay. So you? What's your own name? Chike. Chike. Mm -hmm. That's Igbo. Igbo. That's um, Igbo. Yes, Igbo. Ibo. Oh, Yamiri. Igbo. 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 Yeah. Igbo. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's Yamiri. That's what we call them. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll call them a boki. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds funny. <laughs> so, what part of the north are you from? Oh, well, I'm from Katsina State. Katsina. It's oh. not Katsina, it's Katsina. Katsina. No, not T. Like Katsina. Katsina. Whatever. <laughs> you tried. Katsina. <laughs> yes, that's oh. it. Oh. I have an aunt there. Your father insists you must lodge in a hotel. Lodge in a hotel? Why? How is that even possible? See, I'll pick you every evening and drop you back in the morning. Your father has made all the arrangements. What arrangements? For goodness sake, what, what does that even mean? I am not going to any hotel. I'm going to stay in that state. 
El Alahaji. Yes, it's my daughter there. Yes, Alahaji. Give her the phone. Okay, Alahaji. Aisha. Baba, assalamu alaikum. Aisha, do you want to give your mother and I heart attack? We've been trying your life. I'm sorry, Baba, I had a low battery. Anyway, the hotel has been booked for you. You'll be going to the camp from there. I have made all arrangements for you. It is safe. Baba, please, I I would rather stay in camp. I don't want to stay in a hotel. Aisha, don't argue with me. You are moving in right now. Right now. Okay, Baba. What did she say? No response yet. But she must move out of that camp immediately. Rajitanko. Yes, this is fine. But I've instructed them to check her into a hotel. <laughs> That's okay, Alaji. I'll keep you informed. Rest assured, she is very fine. Okay, I'll keep you. <laughs> Nobody under. Nobody under. Oh, sure. Everything is fine, but uh, I uh, I have to leave now. So, uh, we we'll stay around. Yeah. This is calm. Okay. And thanks once again for the other nights. Okay. I want you to remain focused. If you miss a step, you're going to start all over again. Kajiko! Yewa! Yewa! Hakane! 
Hakane. I want the next person on board. Come on board. Slow and steady wins the race. Kadam Kadam Fa. If you miss a step or lie, you're going to start all over again. Kajiko. You can do it. Go ahead. You can do it. Her crush saved another woman today, didn't you see it? Is that why she's acting up? Is that? Do you know how it feels? Do you know how it feels for you to admire a man and end up seeing him with another woman? No, you don't know how it feels. I see no reason for you to be angry. Come on. Babes, you need to stop this, your envy, and concentrate on why you're here. Just See, I, I, I can understand the fact that you like this guy, and he doesn't like you. Shouldn't be doing that affair. Yes. You want to show brief facts, babe? I don't understand you. That girl. <laughs> that girl. It's okay. Baby girl, come here. 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 Come she was asked to rest. Has she eaten anything? Uh, yeah, she has eaten something before she lay down to sleep. Thanks. Do you know if she's spending the night here? Um, she actually said uh, her father is her father's uh, bodyguard is coming to pick her, so I doubt if she will sleep here tonight. I don't think so. Okay. Alright, but when she wakes up, just tell her I came to check on her. Hmm? There's no problem. I'll do that. Alright, okay. bye. No, no problem. Bye bye. 
Bobby? Please promise me you won't tell Baba what happened at camp today. to say thank you for the last time. Oh, come on. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. You know, when I woke up and I saw you holding me, I actually thought I was dreaming. <laughs> Not until Rocky told me that you came to my rescue and then you took me to the hospital. Thank you. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Uh, anyone could have done that. So you need rest. I think you need more rest. Yes, I, I am doing that a lot. <laughs> And um, this is actually the second time you're coming to my rescue. <laughs> maybe I was meant to be your guiding angel. Or maybe you can just make me your personal bodyguard. Ah, no, 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 please. The one I have already is a bone in my trust. I don't need any other person to guide me. Thank you. <laughs> you can see him around here already. Oh, he's always around somewhere, Patchy. <laughs> You know, since the incident at the camp the last time and what happened at the camping ground, he has been on close mark, I mean, close watch on me since then. He's always watching and he's tiring sometimes. <laughs> that, that shows that you must be a president's daughter or governor's child to have a bodyguard follow you around within camp. Well, let's say none of the above. I would just count myself as a lucky child who is deeply loved by her parents. But the funny thing is, they wouldn't let me have a life of my own. They keep treating me like a child. Now I'm here for my orientation camp, they still treat me like a child. It's not funny. Wow. Irony of life. And I'm here wishing to be in your shoes, at least <laughs> to have a bodyguard. Follow me around. Trust me, if you were in my shoes, you'd be regretting right now. You know the saying, don't wear the shoes, don't wear the shoes. So, um, if you haven't tested it, you wouldn't know. Ah. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, since you come here to eat often. Oh, yes, yes. This is like my favorite spot. Yeah, you know, come to quench hunger. <laughs> <laughs> How did you quench them? <laughs> Anyways, um, I like her food as well. You know, there's a special kind of way she makes her food. It just reminds me of home. She has yeah, the spice yes, around that. It's actually very cool. I love her meal. I have you this should... one at afternoon and at night is one key. You know what one key is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you should make order for your food. Yeah. Hello. Mama. Show face now. But seriously, we will not check out now. Um, yeah. Like, 
when they start. Yes. <laughs> you see now, you see me in action. But that's not the truth. But you know how I can dance very well. Can't you see my steps? Yeah. All this one where they load me. I, I cannot dance. You don't know how to <laughs> yeah. dance. What are this? Dance. Uh -huh now. I know what I'm space. called for. See, if I dance for, for you, dancer, mm? um, dance me. Mm? <laughs> forget, to, forget. Dancer queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's even you. me. Don't talk to My name queen. is dancer. My you don't. Know. What do you know? Nigel love fries. Everything's are good in cooking. <laughs> you are good in cooking. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> I swear. Let's see quick. Is that your guy? Chicken. What's he now? Aww. He's taking her on a date. So sweet. Baby, is he mom? God, wings. Oh, somebody just take me out. Oh my God. He's okay. <gasps> this is He's so okay. sweet. Chicken. Go, come now. Go, go. come. Have you seen me? But you want to follow me? I've not you are eaten very much. Hey, you know, must you do that? What's your problem? You know how she feels about no, this. Why would you do that? Do I? Do I have things? Did I do anything? See, Sandra, mm. at, at some point I've had it up here with you. No, me. you have to start from down, down up. Thanks for the lunch. Uh, but I wanted to pay for us. I, I have some money here. <laughs> Talking about pay, I should be the one doing that. At least to say thank you to my guardian angel for everything you've been doing for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you've given me the job as a guardian angel already? Uh, let's say I am still um, considering it. <laughs> well, where I come from, we do the pain. Oh. Yes. So, uh, can't you spend more time in camp? Ah, oh, that would be trouble in paradise. My father actually communicates with Bobby every time. If I'm not back to my hotel before 6 p.m., hell would let loose. So, oh. I need to go back. Wow. I wonder if you have time to have fun. We are in camp. You need, you need fun sometimes. You need to go out. <laughs> you wouldn't understand, but... Um, Fawn is very far away from me. I don't think I even know what fawn is. All my life I have lived like a prisoner in a cage. Never mind, you won't understand. I think I understand. No, you don't. I'm exactly what I'm talking about. The thing is, my time is up. I am. Uh, I need to go back to my hotel now. Okay. So will you, will you come tomorrow? Oh, sure. I will. I'll come. I'll get to see you when I come around. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. You have a nice time. The nose is opening, so I feel in the trouble. This trouble. That's how we act when there's trouble. <laughs> Big news. Okay, I have to go. See you tomorrow. Um, no handshake. Oh, that's true. Bye, bye. Okay, bye. When you find love. You find hope, you find happiness mm. When you find love, you find joy and sorrow
Aisha, what is the problem? Nene. Oh, Mama always locked up inside. I want to go outside. I want to go and play with my friend. Everyone outside is said to me. Aisha. Aisha, you're not everyone. You are Aisha Kabiru. The daughter of a wealthy man. The future wife to Alahaji Tanko. You don't know who you are, that's why you're saying all these things. You are not just anybody and you don't just go out and play like other people do. You will be inside and play with your sister anytime you feel lonely. And if you're tired of playing with your sister, you play with the toys I bought for you. I bought too many toys for you. You don't play outside like any, okay? Mama, I'm tired. I'm tired of playing with toys. Aisha, don't get tired. We are bringing you up and preparing you for the future ahead of you. For now, you will not understand. But when the time comes, you will enjoy all that you need to enjoy. Hmm? You're not just anybody. You don't know who you are. You're a great woman. You have a bright future. So don't just talk about going outside to play with other children. Play inside here. For now, this is how your life will be. You will always play inside the house with your sister. Your daddy will not be happy seeing you outside with your sister. Okay? So play with your sister or you play with your child. Hmm? I went to Nelina's house to play with her. You went to go and play? Yeah. Ah, you mean you went to play without my permission? Lay down there. I was funny. Look at you, little children like you. Going out without uh, my permission. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And you, as little as you are. Yeah. I saw. So even if little Sadia says you should go and play, you don't know what to tell her. That you must tell Papa first or you tell Mama. Eh? Baba! Tell Baba! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean to us in this house, to this family, even your future. Don't try that next time. I, I shall don't cry again, please don't cry. I'm the one that caused Baba to beat us. I am sorry. I want to play with my friends. I want to play. We won't really have time to play with our friends. Well. Baba. My daughter, you look happy today. Yes, I am, Baba. But I wanted to ask. Baba, now that I have gotten admission into the university, can I move into the hostel? Which hostel? The school hostel. No. Never. You will go from home. I have made provisions for a driver for you. Immediately you finish your lectures. He will drive you back home. Okay? Daily. But Baba, that will be very stressful. Nothing will be stressful. 
<coughs> well, even if it is trustful, we'll find an alternative. But you are not staying far from home. Baba, Baba. Listen, my daughter. I was a student, and I know how school life is. I know the kind of people you meet and hang around with at school. Such people may influence you into doing things you do not want to do. And no daughter of mine will fall into such wrong hands. That's why I won't take my eyes off you at this point. You see, my daughter, you may be thinking that I'm very hard on you. I only want the best for you. That's why I am this way. When you're finally, when eventually you're married to a Hajitanku, you will have all the freedom that you want because you are his wife. You will travel around the world, see places, meet people. Okay, but for now, it is my responsibility to preserve you for him until you are ready to be married. <laughs> Is that okay? Come on, come on. My darling. <laughs> Enjoying the weather, that's all. Oh. <laughs> Where's your dad? Over there. I told you he's always around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's take a walk. To where? You've always said you want to know what freedom feels like. Yes, but um I... No but let's go. Come. Yes, 
Now she knows the people. Keep trying that number. Sorry. Skip the number. Sorry. Have you seen this? Someone I know about, bro. I'll beat you her. No, 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 no. Maybe ask for that. I'll just check around. Yeah. I'm here, I cannot wait to do and go and eat. Wongo. You are fast now. Um, please, excuse me. Have you seen this lady at all? Is she missing? The line is not going, and I can't find her anywhere around. <laughs> I hope she remains missing. Ah, she. I am very sorry about that. Don't ignore her sexes. You know what? Mm -hmm. If you see her, I will let her know you're looking for her, okay? Don't mind when she is there, I'm sorry. Thank you. And, hold on. Please. Hmm? When you see her, tell her that the man she wants, tell her that the man she has been moving around with belongs to me. Yes. She should stop taking his attention away from me. Don't forget to tell her that. <laughs> How will you do that? She is herself. I beg, I beg, I don't want that. Yourself. Allow her to talk. What do you mean by Allow that? Allow her to express herself. For Christ's sake, can't see the man she talks calmly. Can't see you, can't see you. Get out. I better get out, you two. Oh, wait. Hey, hey, please. Where are you doing? You're my friend, I love you, I don't like that. Leave Sandra. I won't consign you now. You don't consign me, I've told you the truth. That's it. I have.
My name is Chike. You already know that part. I come from a humble home. I'm an accountant. My father is late. And I, I live with my mom alone. I'm, I'm the only child. My mom is old, so she lives in the village. I'm here doing my youth service and hoping to finish and get a good job and take care of her. So you see, nothing is really interesting about my, my background. You are the one with an interesting background. Who oh, says? Of course, you have bodyguards around you. Oh, come on, don't judge a book by its cover. I don't have an interesting background. I didn't even have a beautiful childhood like a lot of people think. Yes, my father is wealthy. People think I'm happy, but I'm not. My mom is a full-time housewife. Of course, she doesn't have to work because my father earns a lot. My younger sister, I would describe as the one living the La Vida Loca life. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually like that. Yeah. She had an amazing upbringing, but I did not. You know, the money, the power, the fame, this whole thing is really amazing. All I want is my freedom. I just, I just want to be free. Freedom to make my own choices. To go to places I want to. And not live in this life of misery. What do you mean, life of misery? All my life, I've never had that, that freedom and peace I've always craved. I have never been allowed to do anything on my own. Make friends, mingle with people, socialize. I've never even had a relationship. I don't even know what love is. You went through four walls of the university. You mean you were never in a relationship? Never. I have always had a bodyguard with me. And when I'm back home, my parents are there to always guard me as well. From a young age, I was betrothed to a man, an old man who I'm supposed to get married to after youth service. That's when we pass out. I don't even have any atom of feelings for this man. I don't love him. But of course, it's not a choice for me to make. I'm here, but they're out there planning my wedding. Sorry, I chuckle. It's okay. I laugh sometimes as well. But that is that is uncalled for, Aisha. How can you settle down with a man you do not love? This is a lifetime union. I wish I had a choice. Of course you have a choice. I don't. You were the one wearing the shoe. From what I understand, I think my father is trying to to fulfill an old promise he made. Old promise. Tanko is old for crying out loud. 
Our daughters are still children. And before they will grow and become right for marriage, Large Tanko must have been a very old man. That's what I've been thinking all this while. Large Tanko has two wives already. Two wives. And he may likely marry another woman in future. I don't know what to do. You have to know what to do. You have to give him reply. Tell him no. No matter the request, he will not take no for an answer. Why? Papa, Fatima, have you forgotten that uh, Hajitanko made us who we are today? He gave us all the resources we needed without asking for one error in return. He has been a benefactor to the two of us. Uh, he's the person uh, If not for him, we won't be where we are today. I know. But do you want to give our daughter hand to a man that is old enough to be her father? Allah Ditanko is an old man. Megidana, it will not work. Allah Ditanko is older than you, if I am not mistaken. Tell me, how would that work? No, it will not work. He cannot marry our daughter. thing to do, register early, so that anybody that comes around will know that this one belongs to someone. Let's put this matter to rest. There are so many beautiful women out there that you can take as wives. My daughters are just too young and they deserve the best. Why do I get this feeling that you don't want me to marry your daughter? Have you forgotten your promises to me? That you can sacrifice everything. Everything. Bahakaba. Eh? You even said you will sacrifice your life for me. Tabi, I have not come for your life. I have not come for money. I have not come for anything else. I have only come for you to give me your daughter's hand in marriage. Shikina, give me your daughter as a wife. Let me become your in-law. As in-laws, we are going to achieve so many things together. So many. I only made those promises as a good friend. I wasn't saying I would give you any of my daughter's hand in marriage. I didn't say that. You call it a sacrifice. You said it was a sacrifice. And that you can sacrifice anything for me. Talk. What I need as a sacrificial lamb is your daughter Aisha. And I can you. You know you can't give me anything. And I cannot ask you anything. Instead, you are the person who will demand something from me. Give me your daughter's hand in marriage. And she will never suffer. 
She will never. Well, if you care not to, it is fine. But I hope you understand the repercussions. The oil well in wood. All the contract you are doing under my influence. You know where all this will bring you to. Allah Haji Kabayu. Allah Kai Kabayu. Forget about everything. This is your daughter. She wants to marry me. She is here. She wants to be my wife. Aisha, or don't you want to be my wife? Oh, I'm sorry. She will soon understand. Fatima. I have decided to grant Tanku his wish. He will marry Aisha. Megidana, do you even know what you are saying? Fatima, we have no choice. We have no choice at all. We should be thankful that he even made his intentions known earlier. Of course, uh, I must make sure that I shall be through with everything concerning education, secondary, university, and even her youth service. From now, we can start putting her in the right way and singing it into her ears. When she is older, she would have learned to love him. Megidana, Olai. This is not my plan for Aisha. It's not what I planned for her. It is not what I planned for her either. Let us see <laughs> if we fail this time. Everything we have ever worked for will go down the drain. Then we'll go back to the trenches. Because we will lose everything. Tanko made me who I am. He picked me up from the slums of Kano and cleaned me up. He gave me money. The kind of money no man has ever given me. And did not ask for one naira in return. He single-handedly sponsored our wedding. He gave me connections in Dubai, Kuwait, the Emirates. Ah. Fatima, it is because of Kanko I can even boast of being a millionaire. This one has to be asked for anything. Anything at all. This is the first and only thing that is asking for. Now, he says he wants to make Aisha his third wife. If we deny him this, Fatima, Tanku, we turn back and bite us. He will make sure that we lose everything he ever gave us. Let's not bite the finger that has fed us, Fatima. Please. Now we have two daughters. Aisha will go as a sacrifice for us to retain all the things we 
we have ever owned and gained through Tanko. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You see, um, our daughter will not suffer. Okay. She will not. Tanko is very wealthy. He will take very good care of her. Yes, he will. Aisha will enjoy the best life. I'm also alive. Don't forget. And I will take very good care of her too. But this must be done. Okay? Please. Please, 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 please. please. <laughs> My darling. <laughs> it's okay. Well, well, I had to tell you. You have done so much for us as a family. And now you are interested in our daughter and what family happens. Okay. As our own way of expressing our gratitude for all that you've been doing for us. My wife and I have decided to give you our blessing. You will marry Aisha. <laughs> but on one condition, on the condition that Aisha will finish everything about her education, secondary, university, and even her youth service. After that, you can go I'll ahead. You can, you can go ahead and marry her. I do not care how long it takes her to finish her education. Primary, secondary, university, and even the NYSC. Zen Jirata. All I want is for you to keep an eye on her. Keep her in check until it is right for me to come and pay her bright price. Aisha. Yes. <laughs> so, make sure you respect him, okay? Because one day you'll be with him as his wife. Hmm? That's my good girl. That's my girl. Bye. -bye. I still maintain on doing what is right. You cannot settle down with a man you do not love all because of old time promise. That is never done. There is nothing I can do about it. So tell me you. Have you ever been in love? Well, I used to be in a relationship. According to her, she could no longer cope with what we call relationship all because um, I'm always in the village helping my mother to sell palm oil. She calls me the palm oil boy.
She left me when I couldn't afford for her needs anymore. For her, love without money is useless. So right now, I'm all alone. The only woman I can proudly say I love is my mother. My mother is always there for me, no matter what I pass through in life. She's always there to encourage me, pray for me. She's my biggest cheerleader. I don't know if I'll ever fall in love again. But if I do, it has to be with the right woman. The woman who truly understands the meaning of true love. So, what does love feel like? Love. I can't really describe what what love feels like. Uh, love is that feeling that 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 grows in you. Love is that satisfaction that that comes when when you're with that person. I mean it makes you it makes you feel complete. Is that is that feeling when you realize that you cannot do with that person? You know that feeling where your heart begins to tingle when you think about that person? Where your stomach begins to rumble at the sight of that person? I feel love is getting used to that person. Used to the way he or she talks the way he or she laughs. Love is a beautiful thing, actually. Asha, when you love someone, it's always natural. It's always... You just want to give all. You just want to give it all, you know? I pray we'll find love someday. At least you get to understand the meaning of true love. I want to. Oh. I want to. I really want to have that experience. Well, it's, it's not late. <laughs> no, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I don't want father to hear about this. Promise me you won't say anything to him. How long will I continue to keep your secret? The problem is that one day it will expose. I don't want to fall into trouble with your father. No one is falling into trouble. Please. I don't just want him to hear about this. If he does, he will be disappointed. I don't want to get into trouble. Please. Aisha. Aisha. Alahaji instructed me to be giving him a daily report of everything that is happening. Huh? He trusts me. 
and I cannot afford to fail him. I've been working with him ever since you were a teenager. Huh? Do you want me to lose my job? Obi, I just want to be happy. Don't you want my happiness? Don't you want me to, to live like every normal young girl out there? Look at me, I look like a prisoner in my own father's house. This is the only opportunity I have to live freely. I don't want to be like someone locked up in a cage. I have just two weeks to spend here and I just want to have the best time of my life. All I'm asking is that you just let me have that moment, please. After two weeks, I promise, I will gladly go back to, to Alajitanko. I just, I just two want, weeks. yes, two weeks. Aisha, you say two weeks. Yes. And after two weeks, I don't want to see you with anybody. I don't even care if the person is your friend. Aisha, two weeks. Yes, two weeks. No problem. One more thing. Yeah. If this secret is finally exposed, I will not hesitate to spill everything to your father, Allah Haji, before I lose my job. Bobby, nobody is getting caught. No secret is going to be exposed. We're Sorry. going to be fine. Two weeks, right? Let's go. You said two weeks. Can't I go back and check? Go back. Let's go. trust me and you probably don't see me as a friend but guy reason and uh, we all are guy man you don't need to be hiding shit from me you understand so talk to me who did this to you is uh zaisha's bodyguard we are talking today and he just came from behind and punched me. Punch you? I hope say so you punch him back. Ah, for you. What kind of question is that? You expect me to punch that, that guy? That means you will not even meet me yet to ask me what happened to you. You just meet my cops. Cho, mess up. Guy, mess up. God. See, yeah? If not me. Guy, I go knock that guy with no good. See what see this guy do you now. I go do that guy back. I go punch him. I go do him with no good. See your face now. No, no, no. See, make I sleep. Make. I just want to. I was resting. Eh, I see. That girl, we go see. We go see. looking for you. Why is she always here to look for me? No man, no. you know why she they always come now. She brought some food for you now. Food. Food. Yes, now you bought me mm -hmm. something. Can't even choose something now. Or is it is it better so we go? Oh my, this guy knock you with you no good now. Uh, I found now make a chop the food. 
Oh yeah, he just told me now, so. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was just bored and I needed someone to just to so I felt you're the right person. And I also felt I should bring food around. Well, well thank you very much. What happened to your face? Huh? Uh, 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 he was beat up by the camp soldiers. Yes, yes, camp soldiers. The camp soldiers just... Why? It's a long story. You know these people, they just act like... So. Ha. You need to be very careful with these people. And try to avoid them as much as possible. It's how they go about harassing everyone. It's crazy, it's crazy. I'm so sorry. So, I need this one. Oh, I'll just eat this one. No. I got the food from your separator. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Please, you need to take care of that. Yes, I will. It's just, um, I took medicine and I got back. So, I, I don't think it's that serious. So sorry. It's okay. All right, I'll be on my way. I'll come to you and speak of mine. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thanks for looking out for me. Yeah. Okay. I really appreciate it. Thank you. See you, okay? It's fine. Alright, bye. Yeah. Bye. Come oh, on, guy. That baby really likes you. Like, she's really in love with you. She's in love with you. I think she's actually waiting for you to make the first move as a guy. You know, you should talk to her, you know. Come on, my guy. Love doesn't work like that. Eh? Love is a mutual feeling, man. You get it? She might love me, I don't love her. But deep down, I just feel she's a good person trying to be nice to me, which I, I'm not taking for granted. But a guy in my, my teeth, he pay me my rest a bit, yeah? Any small thing, may you rest. Come, see eh? Believe, I'm telling you. I'm serious, man. You know? Ah, oh, but this yeah. is painful, bro. You feel me close to my job, man. Yeah? I'm talking to you. You're still talking about your job. I'm talking to you about Ngozi. A girl that, lo that loves you so much. Somebody who buys food for you every yeah, day. The, the girl I'm bride. Let me speak now. No harm now, if that's what you want, but just know that she loves you. I'll chop first with them. You can't hang that way, you catch me. Lucky Akalaro, I just needed to talk to someone. Camp is fine. It's just a week here, but it's feeling like it's almost a year. I miss home. I want to come back home. I miss you. Guess what? I met someone. I met a man here, and he's my friend. Yes, but well, listen, make sure you don't tell Baba anyone. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. But we actually assaulted him today when the court was together. I know. But that is why I am worried because Bobby left him lying down there and dragged me away. I'm still worried. Yet, I can't sleep. I don't. That's the more reason I am, I am very worried. If I had his number, I would have checked on him. I just pray Allah keeps him so that I can see him tomorrow and collect his number. I'm really worried about him. 
Yeah, this is no day here. Search the other one now. You know, sir, they find something. I was worried about you all through the night. I couldn't sleep. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay, at least. Uh, things is looking out better today. Yesterday was was worse than this, but I'm fine. I'm, okay. I'm glad you're better. I I want to apologize. I'm really sorry about what happened. I'm really sorry. Please it's okay. forgive me. It's okay. I, I understand. He, he was only doing his job of protecting you. But whatever he did to you, he did because you were with me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's, it is what it is, I guess. So, how are you feeling? I mean, Generally. I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay now. Okay. At least. Okay. Oh. oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Ah, I'm sorry. No, it's alright. Yo, please. Oh, oh. Thanks. I had that in mind as well. We could go somewhere to eat. Where? Uh, outside the camp? No way! I'm not going outside the camp with you again. The last time we did, we almost got into trouble. Um. Okay, fine. We could actually go to that. Our customer. <laughs> oh. The favorite woman in camp. Okay. You know, she prepares the best meal ever. Sorry, my favorite here. <laughs> Yes. And to think I was actually able to enjoy my stay here. <laughs> yeah, 
that's him here. So, your plans after service? Um, maybe to start a business. I've always had, um, I've always had this dream of buying and selling clothes. Dubai and Italian wares will be my focus. Then I also want to do jewelries alongside. So why selling my clothes? I'll be selling jewelries as well. That's a good business. So what about you? Your plans? I don't I don't know yet. I think I have to stay back here. Oh, you know, as an Igbo boy, it's always going to be business. Yes, <laughs> business. So, your mom, won't you go back home to see her? So does that mean that I will, I will not get to see you again? I don't know. You know, I really wish this orientation would be extended. So I could have more time with you. All my life, I've never had this sort of freedom and peace. Until now. <laughs> Sadly, I'm going back home. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be locked up in a cage like an animal. miss you. I'll miss you so much, Aisha. I really wish there's anything I can do for, for all of this to continue. The friendship we had, the time we spent together. Deep down, I want all of this to continue. I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end either. It's been so much joy and happiness with you. I've had a sort of peace I've never had all my life. I don't want it to end too. You know, it's surprising how we bonded so easily. It just, it just feels like I have known you all my life. There is this happiness I feel within whenever I'm with you. never felt that way. It has changed a lot. It has changed the sad life I used to have. I just want to say thank you. No matter where you are, I am going to find you. I don't think that will be possible. 
If you were a very close friend, it would have made a lot of difference. I don't think it would be possible. Oh, no, bro. I feel... I feel you deserve more. I feel... You deserve more than settling with an old man you do not love. You just have to wait for true love to find you. I wish I could. I just wish I had a choice. But that has been sold out for the benefits of my family. I have no choice. I have to go. What will be we be? What will be we be? You may try to change it, but you cannot change. I know how you feel. How do you mean? I know you like Chiki a lot. I can see it in your eyes. Even your actions too. Yes. You can see it. Maybe I'm not even good enough for him. Don't think so. You see, where a man's heart lies, there you find every other thing. In other words, I've been chasing someone I will never have. That's life for you. Why you are busy chasing other people? There's this other person that's always there who always wants to make you happy. He always wants to see you happy, but you just don't see it. Just have it in your heart that the one who loves you might be the one you never even have feelings for or never even liked. Could be a suspected thief, you know. I think I'm in love with her. With her? You mean Aisha? Mm -hmm. Do you think anything will work out between you girls? I mean, she's Aosa and you are an evil boy. Does it really matter? If my mom and her parents are set source, there is no way I can spend the rest of my life with her. Have you told her? Well, I... No. Maybe. Why? Because... She's already betrothed to the wealthy Alahaji. And once she's done with her service, she 
get married. She's already married now, so you want to tell me now that you are ready to date a girl who is almost getting married? Well, you just said almost, not like she's already married. But then... Ah, uh, guy, let me advise you. I would say you should let whatever you have, whatever feelings you have for her, let it die immediately. I mean, they won't allow you to marry her. You already told me she's from a wealthy home. Influential home like that. And you also told me that she's almost getting married. Do you think they will allow you to come one inch close to the other? Okay, maybe me, me, now nah, it won't happen. Thank God your orientation is almost over. I know that when you both are apart, whatever feelings you have for her will fade off. I guess you don't understand when someone says that he is in love. Okay? I am in love with her and I don't see how distance is going to make the love I have for her die. Professor of love. Chiki, you will only get yourself into trouble. This will only get you arrested or probably get you killed. This is what will happen to you, guy. You you'll be arrested for following a rich man's daughter. And secondly, for following somebody's future wife. Chiki, listen to me. This is a wrong move you're about to make. I think about it now. Think about what? Sidiaxi, I think I like you already. You mean the chicken you told me about? Kaskia, you know I was telling you that I wanted to leave camp earlier, but I don't feel that way anymore. You want to stay back because of him? Sidiaxi, this young one makes me happy. I feel so complete with him. Aisha, you should be careful not to hurt yourself. You know very well that you'll be married immediately you finish from the car. is falling in love with someone else. I think you just used the right word. Falling in love, right? Yes, that's it. I don't think I just like him. I love him. <laughs> I have fallen in love with him. Okay, no problem. Good night. You sit tomorrow and talk about it. So good. Today is the last year in camp, I, I guess. Yeah. Hey. Mm. It has come to an end, bro. Sadly, it has. Yeah, thank you. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for everything. You're welcome. It was really nice knowing you. You know, I... Um, I actually know what you want to say. Come on, Chiki. You don't need to say sorry to me, okay? I actually enjoyed every bit of it. Hmm? It's one of the things that makes the camp fun, don't you think so? <laughs> it's okay. I'll keep in touch. You need to. 
So what's your plan? Where are you? Well, um, I'm actually waiting for my uncle. Yeah, he's coming to pick me up. But I'll have to submit my file first. Then I'll head to Lagos. Okay. <laughs> Take care of you. It um, it really hurts to say goodbye to good friends. I thought you were gone already. <laughs> Come on, how would I have left without um, at least saying goodbye officially to you? So um. You're really going? Yes, I am. Uh, I have to. I had to um, beg Bobby to um, bring me back so I could say um, goodbye. It was just like a dream. Everything happened so fast and ended so quickly. I doubt if I will ever see you again. I actually had the same thought. I think we only met I think we really came across ourselves so that we can just um, meet and then move on. But I won't forget you so soon. I won't forget the good times. And how you made me laugh. <laughs> the crazy things we did together. Every moment we shared was beautiful. I'm pretty sure that when I get home, whenever I am sad, I'm just, um, I'm going to think about those times and smile. Same here. I mean, if I was not a man, I would have, I would have shed tears, but, I'll just try to hold back. But I know it's going to be difficult for me. I'll miss you, Aisha.
Everything is becoming a reality. I share that I know when she was still a very little baby. See how she is now. She has grown into a woman that I can marry and call my wife. Kai! Allahu Akbar. God is great. <laughs> I'm happy. Mad Allah. You see, that's how it is nowadays. Children of these days, they just grow like chickens. They grow in such a way that you start wondering what they've been eating. <laughs> I must commend you for your talk, Red. You've really taken care of my baby. You're talking and see if you've not done enough for me. You made me the person that I am today. The millionaire! Look, I owe you everything. Seriously. My friend, I did it for friendship. That's also considered as my appreciation for all that you have been doing for me. And uh, for our friendship. You see, we have to seal this friendship. They're becoming a loss. <laughs> we would. My friend, we would. I have taken a decision. Eh? 
a wedding is going to take place in Dubai. And after that, a honeymoon is going to take place in three countries. Huh? Netherlands, eh, Egypt and Malta. Huh? I am going to show your daughter uh, a place that she has never seen in her life. I have to give her experience she has never had. Of. In fact, our wedding is going to be one in town. It is going to leave a lot of stories in the lips of many people. You can say that again, <laughs> That's the point. You can say that again. to kill yourself. Since you got back from the camp, you've been moody. There is no joy in your face at all. Habamana, Minini, what is going on? What is the problem? I'm in love with him. I love Chike. Now we would have been together. Love him. <sighs> Playing, talking, sharing good memories. But no, here I am. Here I am in my room, crying and wallowing in my own misery. You see what I, I was saying? Have you seen it? I warned you not to fall in love with him. But you wouldn't listen. You know there is no how Baba will allow you to date him. Want to talk of marrying him? It can't even happen. Everyone is out there. Planning your marriage with a large time. Now you are here weeping over in a love affair you can't and we never enjoy. Everyone is out there planning your marriage with Allah Ajitan. Wish we come up in few days. Aisha. Aisha, please come on. Step out of this. I can't. I can't do it. You just said it that you're out there planning my own marriage. If I truly love this man, I should be the one planning my own marriage. Making decisions about my future. How can I be married to a man I do not have feelings for? A man I do not love, a man I do not know anything about. How do you want me to spend the rest of my life with him? No one cares if I even want to be with this man. All they want is just for me to settle down with him. I don't love him. I don't love him. I want to be with him. It's okay. We grew up together. I know all you've been through as a child. The pains you've suffered. We passed through all those together. I just have to accept the fact that anything can happen to me, anything. I may even get married to someone I don't even know, just because our parents want it so. I have already set my mind towards that. You don't get it. You are not me, Sidiat. From a very young age, even when I knew nothing about marriage, I was betrothed to a man I do not have feelings for, but you were not. <laughs> Till this day, you were still allowed to do anything you want to do. Someday you will find a man who you truly love. Bring him home, and once Baba and Mama likes him, they will accept him. But I do not have that opportunity. 
I can't even be with a man my heart yearns for. I don't love Alaji Tanko. I don't want to be with him. I don't want to. It's okay, Aicha. I know you are feeling this way because you found love in the arms of someone else. It was more like this before you left for the car. I don't even know what else to say now. All I want is Chiki. I can't sleep without him. He is all I want. It's okay. It's I just okay. want to be with him. Aisha, it's okay. You are breaking my heart. Stop crying. <laughs> That you are coming so that I'll prepare your favorites. What is the problem? You have been disturbed. Eh? What is the matter with you? Can you help? My son, I know you. I've lived with you for years. Ever since your father died. I know when you are happy and the when you are not. Your mood is not good. What is the problem? Mama, I'm fine. It's nothing serious. Like this. I'm okay. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. Are you thinking about money? Is it because of money, my son? Mama, as a man, I'm, I'm meant to think of, of money and how to make sure you lack nothing. <laughs> my dear, you don't need to think too much. Oh, you don't need to think too much. 
you believe that God Almighty will bless you one day. Bless you with your heart's desire. You will make money. Amen. You will be a rich man. Eh? You don't need to think too much, please. Don't let that bother you again. Be calm. Okay, man. I'm fine. I'm okay now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let me just look for where to charge my phone. Before you go. No, Mama, let me just quickly plug it. Even if it's two percent, I'll manage. Where? <laughs> so, these few years you left this village, you have totally forgotten that this village we don't used to have it. Eh? This how you left all the problems. There's no light. You know, on the night we manage handle. That is the problem. Or oh, you go to Marzibe's house. He has a generator. But it's only when he owns it. Oh, he has a generator? Yeah. Marzibe. He still bought the generator for him last three weeks. Oh. From the city. Oh, good for him. Let me go there now to, to charge. I'll sure? eat when I come sure. back, Mama. Don't worry, I'm coming. Ah. Yes. Oh, you okay. get Yes, Uncle. Welcome. Thank you. When did you arrive? Uh, not quite long. Hey. Yes. Welcome. Uncle, my, my mom said your son bought a new generator for you. So I'm, I'm wondering if I can power my phone, no, no matter how small. You think you know it? That generator itself is faulty. Oh. For the past one week now, I have not used it. My son said. Uh, you need to come back next week to fix it for me. I don't have money to fix it. Ah, that's that thing we have been saying now. Whenever our transformer gets faulty, the government will just abandon us like that. Eh? Who knows when they are going to repair the transformer for us? And you, you mean the, 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 the call is urgent? Yes, yes, I, I have an urgent call I need to make. You have to take to our neighboring village. I heard that they, they, still, they have light. Oh, that is way too far. It's, it's a long walk. There's nothing I can do now. Of course, there is nothing you can do. Okay, get your mother for me. Okay, I will. Take care. Okay. Bye. Kappa Kappa! Kappa Tike! Welcome! Do you know if Aisha would like to eat now or Kuza Techi and Jima? You can dish it. I will take it. In that case, come and take the food to her now. Come, my daughter.
Aisha da Abun Sheik. Bola de novo, Safira Abun Sheik. Ah ah. Aisha, I've been giving excuses on your behalf. Telling Baba and Mama how you do not want to be disturbed. This is the fifth time you are rejecting food. Have a manner than Allah. Eat something. So they have take the food away. I said I am not hungry. No. You must eat this food. You must. What is all this? Do you want to kill yourself just because you are in love with someone? Please, you must eat this food. I am not returning it. I don't want to come back and meet this food here. Eat it all. Else, I will tell Baba. Lady you're thinking of. Who is she? Which lady? Did I tell you I'm thinking of a lady? <laughs> My son, look at me very well. Before I became an old woman, I was once a young, pretty girl. So when a man is in love, in an anger, I know. A woman has captured your heart. Don't you ever lie to me. Tell me, who is she? Her name is Aisha. I met her during our orientation camp. Aisha, I did not hear you well. Did you say Aisha? Aisha, Aisha. Aisha is an Aisha name. Yes, she's, she's Aisha from Kasna. Kasna. Hey! God forbid. That is God forbid. What? Yeah. Let God forbid it hundred times. What? 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 Aisha, Oja Aisha, in this house. Chike, oh, you want to marry an Aosa girl, a Muslim? What will you do with her? How, Mama? You, you, you don't even know her. You, you're saying, God forbid. Oh. I, 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 Aisha is... Look, Mama. Hmm. I am in love with this girl. Aisha is, is a simple... Pretty girl, she's that kind of woman every man would dream to have. Yeah. Okay, I I know you're going to like her when when you meet her. Of I will not like her. I will not like her, and I will never ever like her. If she like, let her be the angel of the door. She's not coming close to my house. You will not get married to a Muslim, a Boko Haram. Are you out of your mind? You don't, you don't have to say that. Does it mean that every outside person is a, is a Boko Haram? Oh, you don't know. No, you're, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong to say that. You are not going to get married to our girl. You should be thinking of marrying from this village. There are pretty, pretty girls in our village. Too many of them. Eh? You, you say, oh, better marry uh, our tribe, from our tribe. Eh? 
You are talking about uh, uh, Usa. Where am I going to start with? You will not. Ma Mama, you you're, cannot you're... bring an Usa girl into this house. Mama, look, you're, you're getting this all wrong, okay? I stayed in Kanu for three weeks. Nothing happened to me, okay? It doesn't mean everyone from Aousa land is Boko Haram. Because they did not cut off your head. Do you know how much prayer I've been, I've been doing for your head? Do you know? With which mouth will I tell people that my son is getting married to Mama, it's not head. about people. It's hey. about me, your son. It's about how I feel. I love this woman, Mama. Okay. Do you know what I want to tell you? Only three weeks you met that girl. Now you people have finished from the camp. If you know how you take love her, just unlove her again. Unlove her! Clear from her! Enough is enough. You cannot marry an Aosa girl. Let this village laugh at me. So that people will laugh at me. After my son finish in university, no Aosa! I will not allow her. It is not possible. She can never cross my house. Never! Obrananka, Obrananda. Hey! I guess I was wrong to open up to you then. Since I said it turns, she has not stepped outside her room. I haven't even seen her more than twice. Can I love you at work? Haha. <laughs> Megidana, you know the rigorous training these people go through at the orientation camp. Aisha needs rest. She needs to calm her legs. It is not easy. Her body must have been paining her seriously. So she is resting. I told Aisha this was left. I told her how much she would suffer. That was why. I wanted to pay them off so that she wouldn't need to be part of the orientation. But she refused. Alahaji, experience they say is the best teacher. Now she is experienced. She will be able to educate others. I know by the time she tells Sadiat the kind of experience she had at the orientation camp, Sadiat will now choose either to go for the camp or stay back. Baba. Baba, you called me. Yes. What about your sister? Ah. She's in her room, Baba. She's just resting. What kind of rest is that? For two days? She, she's tired, Baba. I am sure she will come out soon. Anyway. See these bags. Take them to her. Tell her that our adjutant will visit her and drop them to her. Tuna Ajibaba. I will tell her. Maybe then. You see, I told you. She's resting. Her body must have been burning her seriously. Alright. What about the person who handled the body? What did she say? I've not heard from her. I'll call her later. Should ask me to drop this knife. Beef. I said beef! 
Aisha! What is this? Aisha, what are you doing with the knife? Nobody should come close to me. None of you. Now move. I said move! Aisha! Aisha! And drop that knife, please. Drop it. You seem to me this in good. If you come anywhere close to me, I will use this on you. Aisha, do you want to kill us? To Ayan? Give me the knife. Give it to me. How is she? Don't know about you. And she has refused to eat since yesterday. Batale Lafiene, come in. Please tell me. Banseniva, I don't know why she is behaving the way she is behaving. It all started since she came back from the camp. I think she needs some rest. I don't want anything to happen to my wife. I don't want anything to happen to her. Hava! No wonder. Eh? Our wedding is just a few days away from now. Please, if she needs attention in the hospital, let me rush her. I'm at you. You see, um, since my daughter, I'm even more worried than you are. If anything happens, I will take very good care of her. So, Kakadabu. Please try and eat something, no matter what the problem is. Open up to us, tell us where your parents are. Tell me now! Don't touch me! You mean? Tell me where your parents are. Tell us where I think she needs a professional help. <laughs> 
since she is not saying anything to anybody, we need a professional to help us. I am worried about her before she she does something bad to herself. No. My daughter will not be taken to a psychiatrist. She's not a mental case. What do you want to want to say? That the daughter of Ahadi Kabiru, a who Ahadi Kabiru, is in the mental home two weeks to her wedding. Ah, even Ahadi Tanko will be furious. Alaji, we are here talking about our daughter's health and well-being. Who cares about marriage? Does a dead person marry? Is it about our daughter's wedding or what the world will say? Aisha is depressed. We don't know why. She has not eaten since she came back. She has not even had her bath. And here you are, Megidana, talking about what the world will say. And marriage. Alaji, Aisha needs help. She needs a professional help. Please. I shall be fine. Okay, she will. How old is she? She has refused to talk to anybody. She is not saying anything. She has not eaten nothing. Please, let's help her. She is our daughter. Well, if Aisha is not well, we have to shift the wedding date until she gets better. I think it's a good idea. But if we were also thinking about seeking the help of a professional, at least a psychiatrist. But Aisha has refused to open up. Baba, Mama, I have something to tell you. What is it you want to tell us? Aisha! Aisha! Haba! Aisha! Haba! Aisha! Aisha! Aisha. You all are funny. I, I want to see Chike. Where, where, where is Chike? Where, where is Chike? Where, where is he? Where is Chike? No, I, I want to see my happiness. I, I, I want to see. I want to see. Ah, Megidana. I want to see Chike. Where is Chike? Where is Chike? I, I need to go and find my happiness. I need to go and find my happiness. I need to go and find my No! No! Go No! 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 Stop thinking about her. I just want to go and find her. I just, I just want to set my eyes on her. My son, Aisha is not our tribe. You cannot marry an outside girl 
There's no way you can marry an answer girl. That love that is growing inside you. You should say no to it, oh. She will not bring shame and disgrace to this family. Be cool. Be cool. My true love does not care if you're Aosa or Yoruba. True love does not care about tribe or religion. I love Aisha. True love is sincere. I have found true love and I have to chase it, Mama. I, I really have to chase it. No! You are not chasing anything. You are not chasing anything. Never! If your father was alive, will you look your father into his face and tell him that you want to marry an Aosa girl? Will you? Your father would disown you. He would disown you. He would not support you. And if you insist that you will marry that girl, I will kill myself for you. I will take my life. I cannot live to see it. I cannot live to see you bring shame and disgrace to this family. After all I've been through. <sighs> we have been administering the medication, like you directed. Hmm, interesting. So, apart from losing of stability in her, what else have you been experiencing? Nothing much. Once in a while, she tries to get violent. Okay. But we don't hesitate to give her an injection, as we directed. Mm -hmm. I should usually go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And when she wakes up, she will be fine. That's nice. Um, since the parents have um, requested that she should be treated in their family hospital, I hope putting an eye on her will possibly will not be a problem to you. No, no, my dear. I am not complaining. <laughs> Don't forget, I am their family doctor. Okay. Aisha is also my patient. Not only your psychiatric patient. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I really appreciate everything. Thank you for your understanding. You're welcome. Um, I want you. The doctor's case is a small one that can be collected. But then, it depends on if you want it to be corrected or you want her to remain the way she is. Uh, uh, Dr. Linda, uh, I'm ready to correct anything that should be corrected. She's my daughter. Well, from the look of things, your daughter is going through an emotional trauma right now. And she's in love with the man. But I have come to understand that She's about getting married to another man whom she doesn't love, but betrothed to when she was a little girl. Uh, yes, Doctor. It is true that our daughter is getting married. You know? But her wedding is in two weeks' time. We're actually considering moving it forward because of her recent behavior. Sir. As a psychologist, I can tell you that if you continue with that wedding, neglecting your daughter's feelings, she may end up losing her sanity forever. Lucky. And what your daughter needs right now is a true love. And it is only that true love from whom she loves that can bring her back to her normal self. What do you mean? True love, I don't understand. Well, your daughter is in love with a man she met in the camp, named Chike. I will advise you invite that young man over, at least for them to meet and for her to recover quickly. Please. Abomination! My daughter is already betrothed to a man. You are not saying that I should invite one small boy that she was having something with in the camp to come to my house to, to, to be doing what with my daughter. Papa! No, no. Calm down. Calm down. I understand how you feel. But will you rather prefer having a mentally destabilized 
daughter. Who will end up living her life in pain and isolation, mm -hmm. or probably in a psychiatric hospital, going through a rehabilitation? Or do you prefer bringing her back together with a man that she loves? That will bring back her self quickly. Which one do you prefer? Hello, Jai. Okay. Aja. Aja is still to the doctor. I handed my daughter over to you to look after. But what did you do? What did you do? Damn Banza! You allowed her to be messing around in the orientation camp with a useless boy. You took your eyes off her! You allowed her to be mingling, knowing that she is somebody's wife. You allowed her to fall in love. Where were you? Where were you? When I ask you again, where were you? Hey, that, that I'm like, yeah, Yeah, sir. No, get out of my sight. Get out. Yes, let's go to God. Megida, the island, because of your health, there is sir. I'm like that, I'm like Maybe they not. Let us do this for the recovery of our daughter. Or are you telling me that you are happy seeing her in that state in a psychiatric hospital? Alaji, please. Bala. Fatima. You know that our daughter is going to be dropped to a man. How can I bring another man to come stay with her? It is against our tradition. It is an abomination in our salon, and you know it. Alaji, the doctor said that this is the only way out for us. That God will never marry a mentally deranged woman. You and I know that. Please, Alaji, <laughs> let us search for this boy and bring him. We'll only be on the losing end if we don't do this. <laughs> but no, don't do this. <laughs> there will always be another way out. Certainly not this way. I cannot and I will never do it. Never. <laughs> Why you Ella? Why you Ella? Why What we be? We be? Mm. What we be? To change it, but you cannot change it. This is the boy. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. You are GK. Yes, sir.
Bobby. You can excuse us. So, you are the chicken that put my daughter in that state, right? No, sir. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I never meant for all, all of that to happen. Anyway, the doctor said you have to be with her for her to recover. That's why I invited you over. But let me warn you. Don't try anything stupid with my daughter. Because if you do, I will make the rest of your life miserable for you. Is that clear? Sergeant, take him to her room. So now you Baba. Sorry, I, I just had to do this. Mama, I, I know you're worried about me, but you really don't need to, okay? I'll be fine. So, they've restored the light? Uh, 
I see. Mama, nothing will happen to me. I'm fine, okay? Sure. Take care of yourself, eh? Bye, Mama. Is everything all right? Yes, she's, she's fine. She's just worried. The, the man I left. It's a song I like to sing. My good friend, yes. I am happy that we are doing business together once again. Yes. Though it's going to flourish, it will. It is our turn to shine. <laughs> Nothing is going to stop us. There is no stopping us. Happy is it? <laughs> Okay, I'll come back. Yes. Yes. Megidan, it's been just two weeks since Chike came to the house. And Aisha is recovering very fast. I never thought she would recover so quickly. Yes, she is. That's why the young man has to go back. His job here is finished. I mean, it's complete. Don't you think we should give Aisha more time to recover from you? Look, Fatima, we have just one week to her wedding. Look, this nonsense must stop. Huh? What matters now is that she is fine and strong. I mean, the young man should return to where he's coming from. Now that he has completed his assignment. That's what I think. Besides, he must have missed a lot of activities during his stay here. Honestly, I don't know how Aisha will react to this. She will be heartbroken. Fatima, look, they were never meant for each other. Aisha is meant to marry a Hajitanko. That's what I've spent all these years preparing her for. To make her that perfect bride. That's how Ajitanko deserves. That's what I've spent all these years for. Preparing her to become that perfect bride for Ajitanko. But now because of her mental health, this is not possible. I think she will get better when she gets to Dubai. Besides, I mean, even if it was charm that that young man has been using on her, by the time she crosses the border, the time will clear off. Yes, Fatima. <laughs> what? I'm just glad you're getting better. Listen, I am getting better because you are here. You being around me now just reminds me of our days in camp. It was beautiful. It was sweet. It was magical. I couldn't have had a better time in camp if you weren't there. Same here. I never realized how much I love you until we parted ways on that fateful day. It was hell living without you. I couldn't do anything. When I sleep, all I see is you. 
no matter how much I tried to forget about you for a minute, it was really, really difficult. I love you too, Chiki. I love you with all my heart. Till today, you are the reason I am still alive. I love you more. And I'm happy that we're reunited. At least we get to spend time again. But just that I'm scared. You're scared? What are you scared of? Chiki, please talk to me. What are you scared of? The reason your father invited me here is because he wants you to get better. And now that you're better and you have recovered, my job here is finished. Any moment from now, your father will send me away and that will be the end of everything. The day they send you away, the day you leave this house, and I am being married off to Tanko, I will end my life. Oh, no, what? I sure you don't have to say that. No, you will not do that. What will become of me when that happens? No, don't even say that. Why would I say that? If I am married to Tanko, I would never see you again. I will be relocated to Dubai and live with a man I do not love for the rest of my life. That can't happen. I will kill myself. Aisha. You will not do that. When there is life, there is hope. And when there is hope, there's every possibility that we will be together. If you hurt yourself, that will never happen. You will not do that, please. Don't. I would not do that on one condition. Which is? Go to my father. Tell him that you love me and that you want to marry me. Sorry for for disturbing you. I I want to tell you something. What is it? It's, it's about your your daughter and I. Yeah, I think I already know what you want to tell me. I actually planned talking to you concerning that. I have noticed that um, since recovering very fast. Yeah, quite quickly. And uh, I've also seen the, the good job you've been doing with her around my house. Thank you. You've been of great help to her. You see, as you already know, I shall be getting married next week. And I'll be flying her abroad for the wedding. All arrangements have been made. And her husband is also very ready to take her in. So, as it seems, your job here is finished. That means tomorrow, 
The driver will go and take you home. I also will ensure that on my part, I send you something little, but a good job that you have done. Okay? Okay. So, what you do is this. Pack your luggage. So that tomorrow, you will leave first thing in the morning. So you're free to go. Thank you. One more thing. My daughter must not hear about your departure. I will personally tell her about the news. You know why, right? Look beyond her and ask questions. I try to wear the bubanya ya ya wa wuru. Iye na tuto na bubwa bwa mama. Chicken mama. Look for classy where we belong. Chicken mama. Look for classy where we belong. Look for classy where we belong. Look for classy where we belong. Life, human beings, they can change any time. So, before making a promise, think about the future. My God, my God. Before reaching out. What we be, we be. What we be Let's 
Why did you have to leave again? No, Aisha, I'm not, I'm not leaving you. I will be back. Stop lying to me. Why are you lying? I know my father warned you not to tell me. But you don't have to do this. One minute you're in my life, the next you are out. Why? Aisha, don't say that. I will be back, I promise. I will be back, okay? Just wait for me.
tabelleri. Salam alaikum. How did it go? It's done. Madana. Very beautiful. Good job, boy. Good job. Sit down, Mark. He is not coming back, and you know it. Papa sent him away. I could see it in his eyes. Please, stop crying. You may fall sick again. You all don't understand this. You don't know what I feel for this man. He is my life. He makes me happy. He gives me joy. Now he's gone, how am I supposed to live without him? How? You cannot conclude yet. Let's wait till tomorrow. Check a zeta. Just calm down. Let's wait first and see. It's supposed to call Same thing since last night. His phone has been switched off.
Baba, Chike said he was coming yesterday. I haven't seen him. Where is he? Honestly, I, I don't know. I have been calling Jerry. His line has not been ringing. I don't just know. I have sent messages, but none has been delivered. I haven't seen Jerry. Now, if I have found the guy which they left this morning, but I've sent Bobby to go search for them. Excuse me. Oh, it's Bobby. Bobby, yes. You have found the car. <laughs> Great, <laughs> nice. What? Minini Baba. Huh? What did he say? Bobby said the car got burnt and the two of them died. I don't know. I saw. Aisha, Ankali, you don't need this now. Ankali, Aisha, Sadiet, sit her down. No. No, he, he can't do it. He's a stranger. Don't touch me. No, it's, it's not true. No, it, it can't be true. Chiki cannot die, not, nothing happened to him. Aisha. No, 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 Papa. Mama, Mama. He can't be dead. Let's hear you see there. He's not dead. No, no he, he's not dead, Papa. Mama, Mama. Mama, Mama. Mama. Ah. No, I, he, nothing happened to him. No, he, he's fine. He's fine, Papa. He's fine. 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 Mama said he was involved in an accident. Ah, mama. Mama, mama. It's okay, Aisha. Mama. No, mama. No, I won't see you. Mama. Staying in this country would only compound your outfit. Can't get worse by the day. We cannot continue to stay here. Like I said, you will only get worse by the day because you won't be able to forget all that you are going through. You have to take a break from all of this. Now listen then, I have prepared your visa to Dubai. Huh? So you will be living for Dubai in two days time. Huh? Aisha, I'm not doing this because I want to send you away. No. And I'm doing it because I want you to be able to forget that boy and move on with your life. You have a beautiful life ahead of you. And by the time you get married to a hearted uncle, uh, all your worries will become the thing of the past. Okay? Come on, sir. Chicky, why? Why? 
Ay. Me asa kaya ka chike. Ay. Ay. Have you told her? Yes, I have. And what's her response? <laughs> she does not have a choice. Look, she cannot allow the death of one small boy to spoil all the plans that we've had for her all these years. Do you know what happened to us? You know, if she refuses to marry Tango, look, we will be crumbled. So she must marry her and she has to be for the bar. Go to this. I just pray all oh, these things in the bar. No, of course it will. Because yeah. she is our daughter, I don't want anything to happen to her. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear. You see, once I start in this country, all these things will come. A thing of the past. And of course, I'll show you that, you know, when she now marries Danko, she'll be very free. Once again. And uh, she will forget everything completely. She may even forget us too. How about me, Gidana? Why are you talking like this? She will not forget us. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> What are you telling me? Even when Chike, my son, was doing his youth service, he calls me. We talk every day. Now, look at me. Since three days, three days my son's phone has not been going. No communication. There's no way I can reach him. What will I do? Where exactly did he say he was going to? Hi. Hmm. He told me that he was going to see an outside girl that he fell in love with. An outside girl? See me oh. See Chike, I want him. I, I want him. I want him. He would not listen. I want the Chike. <laughs> How do I do? Well, you have to stop crying. Hmm? Stop crying. The truth is that Chike is a grown up. Chike is no longer a kid. Uh, it's possible he has no battery and there's no way to charge his phone. Maybe he has lost his phone. There are so many possibilities that he is not with his phone at the moment. So stop crying. No, don't conclude yet that all is not work. Let's give it more time. Eh? Calm down. Calm down and stop crying. Eh? Inugo? Lost his phone. I should calm down, Maz. I should, I should calm down. down. Maz, but something in me is telling me that all is not well with my son. I'm feeling that in my breast. I'm feeling it. All is not well. All is not well with him. If Chike lost his food, 
should have called me with another person's phone. <laughs> Easy, 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 easy. Okay, I'm just a farmer around this place. I was at the accident scene when you fell off from the car before the crash. Everybody thought you were dead, but I knew that you were alive. That's why I brought you here. Thank you. You're welcome. How long have I been here? This is your fourth day here. Fourth day? Oh yes, your fourth day. I shall be worried. It's a call. Oh God. I shall be worried. Just a moment, okay? Can I, can I have a phone, please? Your phone damaged beyond repair. I managed to bring out your SIM card because that is the only way we can bring out your contacts. So relax. There should be a way. There should be a way. By next week, you'll be happy now. I am happy for you. Have a Aisha. You should be happy at least. I know the death of Chiki hurts you so much. But please, don't let it pull you down, okay? You know how you suffered the last time. Please, okay? Aisha, this orange is actually for you. It will help you regain some strength. Oh, watermelon. I know that's your favorite. Let me get it.
Unfortunately, Alaji, she was brought in here dead. She lost a lot of blood. I'm sorry. Cut. I'm sorry. Alaji, you see what you've caused? I told you to allow Aisha and TKB together, but you refused. You always like to do things your own way, Alaji. Now I've lost my daughter, my first fruit. <laughs> you are not. Now I've lost our daughter. <laughs> Where is she? She's in her private ward. Let's go and see my daughter. <laughs> This is not the plan. Remember all your promises. I shall wake up. Come, let's go home, Aisha. Aisha, let's go home. Aisha. Oh, yeah. To my my friend's house, and the, the gate man said she was rushed to this hospital. She, she stabbed herself. Her, her name is Aisha. Aisha. Yes. Are you a family member? Yes. Yes. Can can I see her, please? I'm sorry, we lost her. I'm really sorry, sir. You you mean she's dead? Yes, sir. Her parents just left me where to go. Oh! <gasps> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Halal Akbar, your daughter miraculously rose back to life. Yes. One boy came looking for her. And I wouldn't know what the boy did. And she woke up. Yes, yes, an Yes. Although the boy took some of her dose of drugs and for Aisha, which caused him severe pains. But not to worry. I was able to neutralize the effect of the drugs. Yes. Allah Kubao, your daughter is alive. Yes, Hello? Chike! Chike, my son, Chike, do you want to kill me? Chike, I've been trying your number. <laughs> what? Accident? Where? How? When? Chike, please, my son, where are you? Where are you? Let me come to that place right now. Where are you? How about the Aosa girl you went to see? She's fine. Okay, Chike. When are you coming? Please come back home. I want to see you and know that you are okay. Please, please, your mother is dying, oh. Please. Chike, Chike. When coming, please come along with her. The Aosa girl now. Chike. Please. Please come back. Please, I want to see you. I want to see you. Let me be sure that you are okay. Be gone, Hey, he's alive. My son is alive. God, I thank you. But I don't know. But I heard his voice. Accident. Tabiru, my friend. It's obvious that Aisha does not love me. And I cannot force her to stay with me. I want her to be happy. And I want your family to be happy too. I want you to consider letting her marry the person she met in the camp. I think that will make her happy. I'm even scared that Aisha may end up killing herself if I marry her. And you know, I don't want that to happen because I love her so much. That's very thoughtful of you, al eh? But I hope this will not affect our friendship. Never. How can oh, We are fine, we are fine. Now go, must you thank me for everything I've had? This is family. And the purpose of all these things is to strengthen the family and our friendship. Hmm? That's no problem. Hmm? No problem. I have to leave. All right, Thank you. I also have to let you know that I'll be traveling to a place to see my wives and my family. Hmm. But I assure you, 
Our friendship remains the same. Thank you very much. And uh, my regards to Archia. Thank you. Yes, Baba, thank you. Aisha, it's okay. We just want the best for you. Thank you. Thank you. I promise never to disappoint you. Thank you. I'm going to take care of Aisha. Sweet. Well, uh, I would like you to send a message to your mother that very soon we shall be visited her in the village. Okay, I'll, I'll tell her, sir. I know she'll be very happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Thank why you. is my darling daughter? Thank you, Papa. Have a good day. <laughs> you deserve it. 